Hello and welcome. This is Rafi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve WP Forms not sending emails to your corresponding email addresses from your WordPress website. So as you can see here, we have got this form attached on our website. It's supposed to send a notification whenever a visitor trying to reach out to us, whenever they're sending a message from this form. But unfortunately, it is not working. And in this video, we're going to solve this issue and I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process. All right. So here, to start the process, I'm going to hover over here on WP Forms and I'm going to take you to all forms page. After that, we are going to find all the forms that I have created for this website. So I've got only one, which is the simple one. So I'm going to click on edit. It is going to take me to the form editing panel from where you can customize the form depending on one need. So to solve the problem that you have been suffering, simply you have to go here on settings tab and then click on notification. And after that, make sure you have got all the settings properly done. So basically for me, I have entered my admin email right here so that whenever someone will contact through the form, the email should be sent to the admin email of this WordPress website. So if you want, you can basically add a custom email address. It's totally fine. Or if you want, you can add another email here. For instance, if I put rafi at the rate for readers.com, .art basically so it will work as well but i'm going to keep this the uh, let's say the default one it's going to be perfectly fine and then make sure you have got all the settings properly done all right so after completing the setup from the form end now we have to work on our smtp server so i'm going to save this right here and after that i'm going to take you to my wordpress admin panel and then we're going to install a plugin to solve the issue so let's go to plugins let's click on add new plugin and it is going to take us to this page. So you're going to type out WP SMTP here on the search bar and it is going to populate some of the popular SMTP plugins. So we're going to go with the first one. So let's click on install now. And then you have to activate the plugin. Let's click on activate. After that, you'll be landed right here on this page, WP Mail SMTP setup widget. So let's click on let's get started. And then on this page, you're going to find some of the SMTP mailer option. If you want, you can connect your Gmail account. You can add a, your email account from Bravo, SendGrid and many other options. So depending on your need, you can go with. So I want to add a custom SMTP from my hosting account. So whatever host you are using, you can connect it as well. So I'm going to select this one, other SMTP and then click on save and continue. And then on this page, we have to configure our mailer settings. So we have to find the SMTP host from the hosting. So here I have opened up my SMTP mailer settings right here from Hostinger. So I'm going to copy this smtp.hostinger.com, which is the host. So I'm going to copy and let's go back here, paste it right here. And after that, if you just take a look here, it is going to work perfectly fine with your SSL or TLS setup. So I'm going to go with SSL. So I'm going to copy this port as well, which I need. So I'm going to copy this one. Let's go back and then I'm going to select here SSL and then I'm going to put the port which I have just copied from here which is 465 so it just automatically connected but if it is not connecting so simply put type type the port right here after that auto TLS is enabled and then enable authentication so I'm gonna enable this one and I'm going to put the details of this email address for instance you have to provide your email account and then the password for the email account right here on SMTP password and after that, from name, I'm going to type out forida from foridas.art and then force name. So I'm going to enable this one. And in this form, from email, I'm going to type out forida at the rate foridas.art. This is the email that I'd love to get information or send information from. And after that, I'm going to click on save and continue. So basically in this page, you have to get your SMTP host, then select the encryption mode and then put the SMTP port. And after that, you have to provide some other information available right here and then click on save and continue. All right. And after that, on this page, we have to basically select three of the options, the improved email delivery, email error tracking and weekly email summary so that we'll get these notifications and then click on save and continue. After that, we have got how uh, help improve. So they are basically asking us to subscribe to their let's say newsletters. So I'm going to skip this step. So I'm going to click on skip this step. And here we go. We are on the final stage. Enter your WP mail SMTP license key. So basically, if you are using the pro version, then you need to put this license key. Otherwise, we can simply click on skip this step. And now 
checking mailer as you can see here so congrats you have successfully set up wp mail smtp so it did work so if i take you to my email account right here i should see an email received so if i click here we'll be able to see that thank you for trying over this so basically this is working and if i now take you to my email account i should receive an email within like a few seconds but it sometimes takes some time to get this email right here on this portal to this gmail account as i'm using it for free but what you can do i can simply take you to this page from here accounts and import and if i simply reload this one from check mail now it is going to check the email and if i now take you to inbox here we go we have received this email from smtp so that means we have set up this properly now if someone visits our contact page let me simply click on this finish setup if someone visits our contact page and let me type out a demo information rafi from let's say um rafi dot Toric. okay and if i type out hello test and let's click on send now it might going to take like one to two minutes to send the email to our actually inbox but it is going to work so we can basically check this from our uh, actual email account from uh, let's say hostinger or the server based email account here we go i have received an email for the start new email and if i simply click here you can see that rafi sent this email to this account and here is the details now if i take you back right here it it takes some time to get updated basically it checks emails after a few minutes so i'm gonna speed this up by clicking or going here and let's click on check mail now i should be able to see that the email appeared now if i take you back here just take a look i have received this email from this contact now i can simply reply to this email from here so this is the process how you can solve the issue with your contact form and now we are receiving emails directly to our gmail account so i believe you have found this video helpful if you have got any question please feel free to ask me by commenting below and if you need further help visit my website and i'll be attaching the link into the video description thank you so much have a good day bye bye